Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be doing a video on my recent pickups. I have a lot of stuff, so let's get right to it. My brother sent me a package yesterday with a few things. This is one of them. Scorpion action figure. Really, really cool. I was actually thinking of getting him, but now I don't have to worry about that. So, thank you. I hope he's watching this. Uh, next are some books. So we got Nightmare Soup Tales That Will Turn Your Stomach. Very weird name, but it's a collection of horror stories and the illustrations are pretty fucked, if you can tell from the cover. Um, but it's a very good book. Next is Nightmare Soup 2, The Second Helping. This one was also really good. Um, yeah, can't really say anything crazy about it. It's just a collection of horror stories and they're very entertaining. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the Nightmare Society Volume 1. This one I'm currently reading. I stopped at a story called Beach. Um, I'm reading them little by little. I'm not just, you know, doing it all in like one sitting. It's it's kind of fun to, to guess what the next story is going to be like when you finish, you know, reading one. You know? Um, but yeah, so far the book is very good. Next is The Nightmare Society Volume 2. Uh, they did release a volume three, and I ordered that one. Now I'm just waiting for it to arrive. But yeah, can't release anything about it because I haven't read it yet. Uh, this was also something that my brother sent me. He sent me a Mortal Kombat strategy guide. This is for MK9, of course. Um, give you guys an example. You have character stuff, um, stuff for the crypt, um, a little bit of history of, for the Mortal Kombat franchise, that sort of thing. But yeah, it's really, really cool. And I guess these, it also came with these. And it's like character cards. So you have like the bio, basic moves, fast tags, tag combos. Flip it around. You have chain combos, wake up moves, finishing moves, enhance, yeah, special moves and enhanced moves, and the x-ray attack. So yeah, pretty cool. I have more, but it's pointless just, you know, showing them all because that would take forever. You know, one is good enough. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now we got Funkos. So first we have Deathstroke. Really, really cool. I really like him. Uh, Sekiro from Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Let's move him around. This was actually given to me from a friend, so greatly appreciate that. Please don't fall. Um, the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. He's another really, really, really cool one. Uh, this one my brother sent me. He sent me Melina. I was actually thinking of buying her, but I chose not to, and it's kind of good that I didn't because I would have had two of them. But yeah, she's she's actually really cool, and she even comes with her own little stand, which is nice. Um, Higgs Monaghan from Death Stranding. I haven't played the game, but I've heard mixed things about it. It looks interesting, so I, I still want to give the game a shot, but I got him solely because he just looks badass. Next is King Tut from the Batman Classic TV series. Didn't even know that they had a King Tut character in the show, but I just thought he looked cool. And lastly is Carnage. He is a bobblehead, and he was also a Hot Topic exclusive. I don't know if I mentioned Deathstroke, but he was. But yeah. All right. Now for CDs. So we got Tech Nine, Angelic, first Tech Nine album I ever bought. Yeah, ever bought. Um, he's been around since like the '90s, and it's insane that he's still making music to this day. If he's not making music, he's featured on a shit ton of like other people's stuff. So, but yeah. Next is Easy E. Easy does it. This is, I think, the 2013 anniversary edition. Um, but yeah, uh, the only track I know from here is Easier Said Than Done, and that's because of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. But yeah. Next we have Zarface. Every hero needs a villain. Zarface is an underground group comprised of 7L, Esoteric, and Inspected Deck. Most of their albums i think revolve around like comic book references and stuff like that their album covers themselves are very comic book-esque if you couldn't tell and i think they just released like a graphic novel i'm not too sure but yeah i haven't listened to it but i've been meaning to i'm probably well i'm going to listen to it when i come when i'm done making the video um zarface a fistful of peril 
haven't listened to it, so I can't say. And the last CD is Finny Paz, Burn Everything That Bears Your Name. This is his newest album. Um, I wanted to order the album from their store, but it was sold out. I found another another website that actually had copies still, so managed to snag my copy from there. But yeah, I did listen to the album because I couldn't resist um, before I got a physical copy. And it's very good. Very, very good. All right, let me just set those up there. Now are the movies. So we got 47 Ronin. The Gunman. I just want to get through these as quickly as possible because I have a lot of them. Oop. Don't fall. Don't fall. Um, Red. Blazing Saddles. The Crow. Mortal Kombat Legacy 2, the second season for Legacy. It's actually not bad. Um, I know most Mortal Kombat fans didn't like it, but I enjoyed it. Uh, Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge. Actually a very good movie. The Legend of Hercules 3D. WrestleMania 21. My brother sent me a bunch of wrestling DVDs, so you're going to be seeing them now. WrestleMania 22. WrestleMania 23, Backlash, No Way Out, Satan's Prison, The Anthology of the Illumination Chamber, The Mummy Ultimate Collection. This has all three of the Brandon Fraser Mummy movies, as well as The Scripping King. I know most don't like these movies, but I, I have a soft spot for them. Jacob's Ladder. I was confused with Session 9. I thought that had to do with Silent Hill, but I was wrong. It's actually Jacob's Ladder. This had a lot of... This was the big inspiration for Silent Hill. So I'm looking forward to watching this. Semi-Pro. Cold Pursuit. The Forbidden Kingdom. Jaws, the Anniversary Collector's Edition. Now, okay. So I also got this, the Jaws 3 movie collection. How are you going to have a Jaws collection and not even include the first one? It, it boggled my mind. But I have them all. I've never seen Jaws before. Shocking, I know. But I'm looking forward to watching those. Hobbs and Shaw. Black Panther. This is the newest Marvel movie that I've seen. I'm so out of touch with the Marvel films, it's it's not even funny. But um, yeah, I want to get them all and you know have a time, have like time to myself and watch them all, you know. But um, yeah, so far this is the newest one and it's actually very good. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Out of the three, this one I like the most. Don't know why, but I do. Punisher, or The Punisher, sorry. This came with a comic book, which is like a prelude to the movie. Um, and you also, and I also got the, like, three tracks from the album. It was, I think this might have been like a Circuit City exclusive because it had Circuit City on the CD. So, yeah. Um, Trick or Treat, one of my personal favorite horror films. I really, really, really love this movie. It's very good, especially for Halloween. Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. Never, never seen them. Um, I know Fantasia is like very, very popular and it's loved by a ton of people. Um, not so sure about Fantasia 2000. I haven't really heard too many positive things about it, but I'm looking forward to watching both. Next is Family Guy Volume 8. Bought this brand new for a dollar. Not, not even, not even joking. Um, found it on my pawn shop. And it's been a long time since I've seen Family Guy, so looking forward to watching this. The Deer Hunter. Never seen this before, which is shocking because I love war films. But um, yeah, looking forward to watching this. Saving Private Ryan, the D-Day 60th Anniversary Commemorative Edition. I had I have like a standard version, but 
yeah, decided to pick this one up and it was only a buck, so can't go wrong with that. Uh, next is Pixar Short Films Collection. I watched most of these because I had a bunch of like Pixar VHSs as a kid. Um, yeah, so I'm going to enjoy watching those again. Silent Hill. Now, I know a lot of people had gripes with the movie, but I kind of liked it. It wasn't bad, but I can understand why people weren't, you know, crazy about it. Next is Joker. Holy shit, this fucking movie is dark, but it was so good. I loved every second of it. It's, it's interesting to see how a person who has been beaten by the system, not only that, like, he suffers from, like, mental, you know, mental illness. Um, you just see that slow dive into madness and for him to just completely break. It was very good. Very, very good. And the last movie is The Stuff. Uh, um, what, was, what was I going to say? Well, I completely lost my train of thought. Okay. Um, goddamn. One of the... Um, one of the employees at the exchange told me that this movie was good. So I kind of went off her judgment and decided to pick it up. Still haven't watched it, but I'm looking forward to watching it. All right. So I will be right back. I'm going to put these movies away and we'll get into the games. And now we're back. So before I get into the games, I do have some games digitally on PS4. So I'm going to get to those first. Um, so the games that I have that I recently got were in Rays of the Light. It's a very short um, walking simulator. It's kind of a horror game, sort of, but it's actually pretty good. Um, the Town of Light, Visage, um, Abizu, Enter the Gungeon, Res Infinite, The King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match, but I think I mentioned that I bought that game. I'm not 100% sure. I probably did, but um, either way, if I didn't, I have it. If I did, I'm mentioning it, mentioning it again. And Doom 64. So, yeah. So those are the games that I have digitally on PS4. And onto the physical stuff. So we have Fighter's History. Um, a friend of mine told me that this game was actually pretty good and to give it a shot whenever I came across it. And yeah, it's actually not bad. It's not that bad. Next is Jack 2. Now, I play tested this but I wasn't able to actually fully play the game because I didn't have a memory card. And I have, I think, eight, eight memory cards now. I now have nine um, because of that reason. I needed a new memory card to, to save Jack 2 as well as the other game that I'm going to show. But, um, yeah, this is the first time I'm playing Jack 2, and it's actually not bad from the little bit that I did play. Next is Cold Winter, a first-person shooter that's actually not bad. It's pretty decent. Again, I needed a memory card for this game as well because this takes up like 2,000 kilobytes of space, right? Yeah, 2,079. Yeah. Um, next is Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. I've been wanting to get this game for a long time, and I'm so happy that I found it at the exchange. But yeah, um... It is a two disc set. You have disc one and disc two. I have no idea if the game is that long or if you get to play as like the heroes on disc one and the villains on disc two. I don't know. Um, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. I've always wanted to get Indiana Jones um, on PS2 and this was the one that I found and it's not that bad actually. It's pretty decent. I'm... I'm a sucker for movie tying games, you know, like they're my guilty pleasure. I've mentioned it before, but I, I enjoy them to a degree. There's some that are good. There's some that are shit, but, um, next is chaos Legion. This was very similar to like devil may cry. Ironically it was made by Capcom, but, um, I heard it was good. So decided to pick it up and it's actually not that bad. Next is streets of rage four played through the whole thing with a friend of mine and yeah it's actually really really fun a little frustrating at times because you know the ai and like the enemies just are relentless but it, it's a lot of fun 
Days Gone. I know this game was available for PlayStation Plus subscribers, but I'm... How can I put it? I'm a physical media whore. I, I love to have physical stuff because you never know with games. Um, like, for example, uh, A Sora's Wrath is like $80 now, which is insane. And I bought it for 5 bucks at my pawn shop. So, yeah, it's it's crazy, you know. And I'm glad that I like physical stuff because, again, you never know how much they'll go up in price, you know, as the years go by. But, yeah, Days Gone is actually pretty decent. It's not bad. Resident Evil 3. Now... After playing Resident Evil 2, I can understand why people didn't like this, and I also heard that some of the content from the original version was cut for this version, which is not how you do a remake, Capcom. You don't do that. But either way, um, I thought the game was okay. I don't hate it, but it's not amazing either. But it, it wasn't bad. I'm not going to say that it was a terrible game, because it wasn't. It was enjoyable. Next is Resident Evil Village, or Resident Evil 8. Um, I did do an entire playthrough of this, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. I unlocked Mercenaries, I've been playing that, and I started another playthrough of the game uh, again. So, but yeah. And it also came with a code for Reverse, which I haven't redeemed yet, but I will eventually. Fallout 4. Now, they had a Gotti edition or Game of the Year edition, and it was like $60 still, so I don't know if that just came out or what, but either way. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this was only 10 bucks, and I've been wanting to play Fallout 4. Um, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, Collector's Edition. The Collector's Edition came with Season 1 Pass and Lauren Sheba as a bonus character. They did have Season Pass 2 and 3 on sale for like 10 bucks each, so I got both seasons. Um, yeah, it's actually a really good fighting game. It's 3-on-3, it's three three, very similar to like old school Marvel vs. Capcom or The King of Fighters or Dragon Ball Fighters as well. That was another 3-on-3 three three game. I can't really think of any others. Um, Just Cause 4, Day 1 edition. I didn't get this Day 1, of course, but um, it's actually... I can't say anything about it because I haven't even installed this yet. I want to get Just Cause 2 and 3 so I can play those and finish those before I get into 4. But I have it. Um, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It includes two bonus levels, Stormy Ascent and Future Tense. This actually is not bad. It's funny because I remember reading an article saying that Crash is now like Dark Souls, which <laughs> they obviously never played the originals. But, um... Yeah, it's it's not bad. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Again, this was made for for free for PS Plus subscribers, but I like having physical stuff. So, but yeah, it's actually a two disc set. So you have the play disc and the data disc. And I played through the whole thing and beat it, and it's very 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 good. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the other. With the rest of the game. So yeah. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. This was actually really, really good as well. Um, I, I really enjoyed playing the game. Um, right now, I'm just kind of browsing the planets. Looking for like the different chests and stuff. But it's, it's very, very good. Yeah, there we go. But yeah. And the last game is Wreckfest. Again, this was made for Plus subscribers. It just came out, actually. But, um, again, I just like having physical stuff. So, but yeah. Um, this was made by the same people who did Flat Out, which is actually a very fun demolition racing game. But, yeah. So that is everything. Everything that I can think of right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's everything. Well, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Have a good day. Most importantly, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.